All right, guys, here we are. We are going to talk about the IMU. I have had several questions about the IMU. What is the IMU? What does it do? Why should I calibrate it? When should I calibrate it? All those types of questions. So we are here today to talk about the, those things. So the IMU, it is the inertial measurement unit. It takes information from the barometer, from a thermometer, from a gyroscope, and from an accelerometer. And it takes all those bits of data and it combines all that data and that's how it actually controls the drone. That is what controls how the drone understands is it going forward, is it going backwards, is it, is it hovering, is it going up, is it down, how fast is it going, all those sorts of things. So it needs all those bits of data from those four different uh, devices and it takes that data and it determines, okay, what is the drone actually doing? First off, we need to make sure we are on a flat surface. So you can see there, I'm just using my phone, using the compass in my phone, not the, the compass app in my phone, using the level feature and determining that my countertop here is so you, level. So you can see if I were to move it around, then you can see that it shows, you know, how, what, what direction is it out of level. So counter is level so we are good to go there. Now the other thing you want to do before you get started is you actually want to cool down the drone itself. What is a reason why I care about the IMU? When when do we when do we need to do some adjustments to it? Now one of the things is if you're following along and then all of a sudden it just starts going ch does changes in elevation on its own that's a good indication that you need to uh, uh, do an IMU calibration. If it is hovering at, trying to hover at an angle, right, instead of hovering flat, that's an indication you do an IMU calibration. So those are all various different reasons that you'd want to do it. Now, if you're getting crashes, you're getting runaways, you different things like that, those might be indications you want to check it out as well, see if you have some problems. We are going to go into the DJI GO app. We are going to go to our settings. We're gonna to go to this top option here, which is the it's the main controller settings. We're gonna to go to our sensors down here at the bottom, and you'll notice we have IMU and compass. So we wanna make sure that we're on IMU. We're going to choose calibrate IMU. I'm gonna start a little timer here to go along with it. So I'm gonna start, start. Okay, it says put it, put it on plain ground. Okay, so it changed picture change so I'm gonna move it the same way okay so it's important only move it when it says to move it okay so the picture just changed so it's pointing this way now it says point it this way okay I'm blocking the, the timer here of course okay then it says put it upside down. Oh, facing down here. Oh, okay. Now it says do it up. You notice every time the, the lights are flashing, so you see it goes to that kind of yellowish greenish color here while it's doing this calibration, then it turns to flashing green when it's done. So now we are going to put it upside down. For I think this is the last one we got to do. Okay, says we are good to go. So I'm going to say okay. It says turn it off. Okay, so I just turned it off there. Let it sit for just a second. You'll see that was only, I mean, that was under a minute and a half to do that whole process, right? So I'm going to go ahead and turn it back on. Now one of the things that you may notice is I don't have the props on. And that's because these props, the, the pieces might get in the way of getting it to the level that it needs to. So you always want to take the propellers off when you do the IMU calibration. So I have a separate video on talking about propellers. I'll link that. Uh, I think it's up, up here on this side. I always point to the wrong direction, but I'll put a card. Uh, on the YouTube video that points to where we are going with that and how you can get to that video on the propellers. So anyways, that's the IMU calibration. A super simple process. The thing I did...
Thank you.